Hello friends, today we are going to study about mole concept. So first thing for studying mole concept is to know what is the mole. And for learning what is mole, first I am giving you one example. Tell me what is one dozen? One dozen. One dozen will be equal to twelve means 12 things or 12 substances or anything whatever if I say one dozen of banana mean one dozen bananas means it will be 12 bananas one dozen uh, apples means 12 apples here mole is something related to this only why they had done this that also I am going to explain you first we know that one mole will be equal to 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 things or the atoms here we are directly writing atoms now look here why we are doing this we know that calc for calculating 12 bananas if I say instead of 12 bananas one dozen it will be easy for us and when we are calculating 24 bananas then I can say two dozen so it will be easy for us here also the same thing is going on because when scientists were doing some calculations on this atoms and elements and they are finding ratios of the, they have to deal with a very smaller unit of their mass that is one unit or two unit and it will be very difficult for them to find out that and finding the ratio so what they had done they had made group of atoms and that group this is the group means this much number of atom combines to form one mole and it will be easy for them to compare this so they had done this now look here I am telling you why and how they had done this number 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 atom combines to form one mole only why they had taken this number only why they had not taken something else 10 point something like that see because the mass of this will be equal to the mass of the number means uh, I am giving you a practical example what is hydrogen we know the mass of hydrogen is one unit so if I say one gram of hydrogen then it will be equal to one mole of hydrogen still I am explaining you more so you will come to know if I say carbon take carbon tell me what is the mass of mm, atomic mass of carbon 12 so if I will say 12 gram of carbon combines to form one mole of carbon now I will tell you about let us take oxygen so mass atomic mass of oxygen is 16 so 16 gram of oxygen gives you one mole of oxygen now I am taking a molecule come on. now tell me what is the mass of H2 one molecules of H2 you know the right, two units of hydrogen so 1 into 2 plus uh, mass of oxygen is 16 so it's 2 plus 16 18 so what we can say look here 18 gram of H2O combines to form one mole of H2 these are the th simple things why I had explained this because these are the, all things are necessary you come to know what is actually this is now directly I am going on the on to the formulas so for finding the number of mole first you need you need to know what are the things we needed for finding how many moles are there in this look here I had taken and I had find out and I had written here and the small letter n is used for number of moles small n small n is used for given mass if they are giving us some mass and then molar mass means the mass of that element or that uh, molecules that is called molar 
must these three things are necessary for finding first for for the my first formula now we are going n is equal to small m upon capital m means uh, what is small m means given mass n capital m means molar mass come on uh, we are taking one example if i am having 32 gram of oxygen then how many moles it will be if somebody tell me given mass so they had given us 32 gram so given mass is 32 gram of oxygen and we know what is the molar mass of oxygen that is 16 16 so how many moles will be there cancellation it's 2 so number of moles will be 2 and the second formula also they had given to us when the particles are given here they had given us mass with the help of mass we can find out its number of mole with the help of the second formula is also i am doing it here n is equal to n upon n o n means n means i had written here if you had seen properly n means given number of particle if they are giving us atoms at that time also we can find out how many moles are there come so capital i am going here n capital n means given number of particles given particles upon no means no means avogadro number this all in this group of cell uh, group of atom was invented by avogadro so they had told this number as avogadro number it is called no and that is always 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 now we are going to do a practical example suppose they had given us 18.066 into 10 raised to 23 atoms of oxygen are there find the number of moles formed from this these are oxygen atoms so what is the formula n is equal to capital n upon avogadro number that is 18.066 into 10 raised to 23 upon 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 so directly we can cancel and we know this 3 so number of moles will be 3 by combining these two formulas also we will get a new thing that is small m upon capital m n is equal to and again we know that n is equal to capital n upon avogadro number so we can combine this also and we will get m upon capital m is equal to n upon avogadro n so whenever you are getting this type of sums first you have to make a list of the all the numbers which you are having automatically you will find the number which is not given to you sometimes they will give, give you this mass in gram then you can find the atoms if you want to if they had given this atoms then you can find this mass also and if sometimes they will give you any of the things and they told you to find this number of moles then you can find that also So if you like my video please subscribe to my channel and please click on the like button given below thank you